Hi, my name is Marek and today I'm going to try and clue you in on the world of consumerism. Now, I'm not sure I would consider myself an expert on the topic, but I will at least do my best to give my two cents on the subject. There can be no doubt that consumerism has taken over the developed and developing world at a remarkable pace in the last century. And I cannot consider myself exempt from this consumerist frenzy that has infiltrated our society. I would say that I'm a light to moderate consumer. I seldom buy things on a whim unless the damage is under 20 euros. At the moment, I'm a bit of an AliExpress junkie and have purchased a couple of things from them that I've gone on to regret somewhat. I have since then, however, nipped that shopping habit in the bud, so I'm no longer a so-called shopaholic. Shopping is an addiction like any other, and it's something that as a society we need to try and wean ourselves off of gradually, rather than going cold turkey overnight. Consumerism is intrinsically intertwined with the economy, which in turn provides us with jobs and livelihoods. It is a double-edged sword, which presents us with problems at the same time as it provides us with solutions. It is clear that we live in a world of opulence, decadence and excess, where the differences between the haves and the have-nots are immense. But it is also true that we have somewhat hit the brakes on our spending habits since the credit crunch of 2008. It seems like we go through economic cycles of shrewdness and then shopping till we drop when the economy is booming. At the moment, it seems that consumers are making the transition from physical shopping to online shopping in droves. Hence the global success of websites like AliExpress and Amazon, to name but a few. Consumers want their dollars, pounds and euros to work harder for them, as our shopping sprees now occur more at the click of a button rather than with a swipe of our debit or credit cards. It would seem that the future is bright for consumerism and the advent of internet shopping is a win-win for consumers and retailers alike. But there is a darker side to all of this consumption. Automation, along with online shopping, is doing away with millions of jobs. Robots are replacing workers in factories, machines are eliminating staff at airports, supermarket checkouts and banks, to name but a few. Not to mention the negative impact all of this is having on the environment. We are literally surrounded by plastics, wood, metals and chemicals. Everything in our supermarkets and department stores is eventually going to end up in landfill. Humanity is going to have to take a drastic U-turn at some point if we are to survive. Sooner than we think, we will have to curb the way we shop and our mentality towards consumerism. Now, I'm a huge proponent of equality between men and women, but it cannot be denied that when it comes to shopping, in some respects, men and women are completely different animals. Men are generally in and out shoppers in terms of clothes shopping. I used to follow all the fashion hype when I was in my 20s, but I'm much more responsible now with my clothes purchasing decisions. Put me in a DIY store like Leroy Merlin or a gadget slash technology shop like Mediamarkt and I can happily wander the aisles for hours marveling at tools and gadgets. Women on the other hand are, dare I say, less enthusiastic about tools and technology and more excited about fashion and makeup. But there are, of course, numerous exceptions to every rule. Differences can also be seen among children's shopping habits. Now, children, of course, don't necessarily shop, but maybe in terms of the things that parents buy for them. Children seem to be under a lot more pressure to fit in these days, which usually means having the latest mobile and Hollister t-shirts. Being a digital immigrant, I grew up in a world without mobiles until my teens, so to see kids donning 500 euro phones is somewhat mind-boggling. Just a brief segue, um, I bought an iPhone 6 in late 2015 and then in 2017 I bought an iPhone 7. And just one year later, in 2018, we're on iPhone 10. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, that's the last straw. I'm not going to fork out a grand every year to have the latest incantation of the iPhone when almost all the innovations are gimmicks. So anyway, I digress. For many of us, 
our lives are increasingly online. Going forward, I think the world of gaming and social media are going to be the consumerist juggernauts of the future. And while us millennials were content with computer games consoles, Generation Z, or the I generation as it's also called, will be vying for full immersion in the digital realm. Maybe the internet will alleviate some of the physical burden. We no longer buy videos or CDs nowadays. Everything is online in the form of Netflix or Spotify. What consumerist knock-on effects this may have can only be left to speculation though. But the fact that our oceans are already swimming in plastic should be a stark warning sign of the dangers of excessive production and consumerism. The internet will no doubt be the driving force behind consumerism in the future, and this will inevitably bring with it pros and cons. Clothing-wise, for example, it's still easier to go to a shop and try on the garments that you're eyeing up. But with technological innovations, that may well change in the future. Maybe we will have avatars that will be programmed to accurately depict our bodies so that we can have an exact idea of how an item of clothing may fit us. Whether it be online or in person, we need the paradigm shift regarding our current throwaway culture. Generation Primark is growing up with the idea that clothing can be worn for one season. Why do companies like Nespresso even exist? I mean, it's only a matter of time before we're drowning in Nespresso capsules. There is an unrelenting pressure on us as citizens to keep up with the Joneses. And we judge each other based on the cars that we drive, the phones we have, or the clothes that we wear. I have no doubt that we have had our fair share of problems throughout history, but I fear that if we're not careful, consumerism on its current scale could well be our undoing. Thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video.